Hey guys, let's see how to have a Tapo camera on a TV using VLC, the VLC media player. As you can see, I have this Tapo C510W running here on my TV. And you just need to install the VLC player and use with your camera, okay? It works with different Tapo cameras, as you can see here. Let me just show that I have also this C216 working on my TV with the same VLC video, my media player. So when I come back here, you see that I have a second stream. That's one for this camera, okay? The C216. And it also works with any camera. I have back there the C200, C100. I was testing all of them and they work. Okay, let me just show how it works basically here. Just, you just need to get the information that you need to insert here, okay? To get the stream from the camera. In the description here, I'll leave the information that you can have there. Let me just show what I'm talking about. That's the information that you need to insert here. Okay. So basically it's going to use the RTSP protocol. You see here RTSP, and then you have the username and a password, and then the camera's IP address, a port number, and string one. Okay. Just use this one. You're gonna replace here, of course, with the username for your camera, with the password, and also the IP address for your camera. The rest remains the same. Here remains the same, 554. Stream one remains the same, right? And to make this work, just need to go to your Tapo camera, okay? Let's take this one, for example, the Tapo C510W. And here, you need to come to the settings. just approach here so you see better settings and then go down and look for advanced settings there we go camera account come here and then you enable the camera account and when you do that it's going to pop up a message asking you to create a username and a password here I already have mine you see here tapo admin that's the username and the password is just one, two, three, four, five, six. That's why I have this information here, okay? That's the username for this camera and the password. And now you also need the IP address, right? The IP address, let me just come back here to the camera. So here I have the account. And back here, I have the network settings. There we go, and here's the IP address. As you can see back there, for this one, 411, right? That's the IP address back there, 411 for this camera. So pretty simple. One more time from the beginning, okay? You come here to your app, go to your camera, go to settings, then advanced settings, just right here, camera account. Here's going to create the username and password. Then you come back one more time. There we go. And check the network settings. And you check what, what's the IP address that you have here, okay? And you can also check here to make a static IP, a static IP address. So you're good to go as long as you have your camera working here. And also make sure that you have the network name here just to, to be sure that you have the camera connected to your router. That's the signal of the router, right? To just make sure you have the TV in the same network, okay? Well, let me just come back here. So basically you come to your Fire TV stick or whatever TV you are using there and check the network. You see here, it's the same one that I'm using there for the camera. As long as they are in the same ne network, you're good to go. So just go there, install your VLC player from here, from search. Um, or you can install in a different way if you're using a different device with Android device, whatever you're using back there that has the VLC player. Open it up. Then before I come to this screen here, you're gonna find this main menu, right? This main menu here, first time that you get to the software, you just go down and go to browsing. And then streams, there we go. And you're gonna see this space here where you can input this information, okay? Just take a look here in the description so you can copy and paste or you just pause the video and take a look here and enter this information, RTSP, 
that stands for real time streaming protocol. And then colon backslash backslash the username colon the password at and then IP address of your camera 554. That's always the same for you or for me, it doesn't matter. It's always the same. And then backslash stream one. Okay, as long as you have this, it's going to work. Then it just uh, test it, right? Let me just put it here. And you see that I have back there, okay? And then uh, after this, you just come here and press up in the button here. And then you come down, just move this away. Come to save playlist. There we go. And then you enter the name here for your playlist, any name that you want. As you can see here, I named Topo C216 and Topo C10, C510W, right? So I can remember the camera I'm talking about. So you have to your play playlist, you hit save here and you're good to go. So when you come back again here, let me just come back to the main screen, okay? So you just open the VLC again. In fact, let me just uh, close this. Let's say I'm watching TV, doing something here, and I just need to come to my VLC player, just like so. Open it up, come here to browsing, stream, and select the one that I want. Let's say I want the other one here, the C216, and there we go. And you see that's pretty fast, okay? There is also, the option if you're using the other remote control. I'm not using one here, but I have back there on the other room, a remote control with, with the numbers one and two. So you can basically program what you can do with those buttons, right? So you can basically type the button to bring the VLC up instead of like doing all these steps here, which is coming to the main screen, come here to the apps and go in here to the VLC, right? But anyway, it's still pretty fast doing this. You see it works pretty fine. And you're good to go. Okay. You don't have control of the PTZ in this case, right? That's the only problem here because this is a PTZ camera. The other one is also a PTZ camera. This uh, C216 is a PTZ camera. You see here, pen and tilt. No, not PTZ, but pen and tilt, okay? Basically you can move in the horizontal and in the vertical, it's a PT camera, but I cannot move. Uh, VLC is just streaming the video, right? So if you have a PT camera, like I have here, it's not gonna work with the control, but you can have at least the video, or you can have fixed camera like I have here. So this is um, the C200 from Tapo, it's a fixed camera. You can have the stream there or the Tapo C100 that I have there. They're all gonna work. It's not only for Tapo cameras. All every camera that you can use this stream, uh, the RTSP protocol, real time stream streaming protocol, is going to work, right? Of course, the the information here, the URL, will be a little bit different for every single camera, but still, you can just get this information from the user manual or from the manufacturer or some way you can have this information for every different camera that you have. For Tapo cameras are always that way, okay? With this RTSP, with the uh, username, password, IP address, port, and stream, okay? So I hope you like this information and this video. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your comments here, and I see you in the next video.